Good morning, class. Okay, before we start, please all stand up and let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Almighty Father, we adore you, we praise and glorify your name, Lord. Thank you for this another day of opportunity. Give us strength, O Lord. Guide me, Lord, to deliver well the lesson to the students. Give us also a knowledge to make this lesson become meaningful and successful, Lord. This all we pray through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you with the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Father, and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, once again, good morning, class. You may now take your seat. So, let's now check that in this. If I call your name, please raise your right hand if you are present. Um, Kabakungan Joel, Dalit Noel, Miss Mendoza Lehani. Okay, very good class. There's no absent for today. So, before we proceed to our next lesson, um, can someone give a recap to our previous topic class meeting? Anyone? Okay, Mr. Kabakungan. Okay, it is all about the six trigonometric function. And what are the six trigonometric function? Anyone? Okay, Miss Mendoza. Okay. Okay, very good. It is sine, the cosine, tangent, cotangent, second, and cosecond. Okay, I have prepared here a game called Guess the Picture. So, I will give points to the students who will um, give the correct answer. As you can see, we have here a letter A, a cute baby, and an angel. So, if you combine these three pictures, what words can you create? Anyone? Um, Miss Dali? Very good. It is an acute angel. So, our topic for today is all about the six trigonometric function of an acute angel. So, before we proceed to our topic, uh, let me first discuss our learning objectives. So, at the end of the lesson, the student shall be able to identify the six trigonometric function of acute angel, differentiate the six trigonometric function of acute angel, and solve the value of other trigonometric function of acute angle. So, what is an acute angle? An acute angle is an angle that measures less than 90 degrees. This is an acute angle. Next. So, the six trigonometric function. We have six trigonometric function. The sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So, our abbreviation for sine A is equal to sine A. Our cosine is cos A, tangent is tan A, cosecant is CSCA, and secant is sec A, and cotangent is cot A. So, sine A is equal to the opposite side all over the hypotenuse. So, this is the opposite side, and this is the hypotenuse side. So, our cosecant A is equal to adjacent side all over hypotenuse. Our tangent A is equal to opposite side over the adjacent side. Our cosecant A, hypotenuse all over opposite side. Our second A is equal to hypotenuse all over adjacent side. And our cotangent A, adjacent side all over hypotenuse side. I opposite side rather. Okay, how to solve the value of the six trigonometric function of an acute angle? So, here's an example. For the right triangle ABC shown on the picture below, find the value of all six trigonometric functions of the acute angles A and B. So, the hypotenuse of triangle ABC is equal to 5. Uh, for angle A, the opposite side of line segment BC is equal to 3 and the adjacent side of line segment AC is equal to 4. Thus, our sine A, our sine A is equal to the opposite side or our hypotenuse side. So, our opposite side is equal to 3 and our adjust, our, our hypotenuse side is equal to 5. Our cosine A is equal to adjacent side, our adjacent side is equal to 4. And our hypotenuse side is equal to 5. Next, our tangent A is equal to opposite side or our adjacent side. Or opposite side is equal to 3 and our adjacent side is equal to 4. So our cosecant A, so the reciprocal of sine A is equal to cosecant A. So we need to reciprocal this one, reciprocate. Uh, cosecant A is equal to 5 over 3. Our second A is the reciprocal of cosine A. So, we need to reciprocate this one. So, 5 over 4. Our cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent A. So, 3 over 4, um, the reciprocal of 3 over 4 is equal to 4 over 3. For 
angle B, on the opposite side of angle B is AC. Is it, so our line segment is is equal to 4. And the adjacent side of angle B is equal to 3. And the hypotenuse of this angle is 5. Thus, our sign B is equal to sign B is equal to opposite side over hypotenuse. So, our hypotenuse side in angle B is equal to 4 and our hypotenuse is equal to 5. Our cosine B is equal to adjacent side over hypotenuse. So, adjacent side is equal to 3 and our hypotenuse is equal to 5. Next, tangent B. Our tangent B, um, opposite side or over hypo, or over adjacent side, it is equal to 4 over 3. Cos second B is equal to 5 over 4. Our second B is equal to 5 over 3. And our cotangent B is equal to 3 over 4. Okay, so that clear class. Do you have any question? Okay, none. Let's proceed. Okay, our learning activity. I will give you five minutes to finish that task. Okay, your time start now. Okay, class, I will show to you the solution of this activity. Um, a is an acute angle such that sine A is equal to 2 over 3. Find the values of the other trigonometric functions of A. Since our sine A is given, we need to find the the other value of the other trigonometric function. Um, as you can see, the missing value is B. So we need first to identify what is the value of the adjacent side. So our formula for this is C squared is equal to square root of B squared plus A squared. Since um, the adjacent side is the missing value, our formula become like this. Um, B squared is equal to the square root of c squared minus a squared. So b squared is equal to the square root of our c squared is equal to 3. So 3 squared plus our opposite side is equal to 2. 2 squared. Then b squared is equal to 3 squared is 9. And our 2 squared is equal to 4. Then B squared is equal to 9 plus 4 is equal to the square root of 5. So, e square root natin ito pa para matanggo. So, B is equal to square root of 5. So, our sign A is given. So, our sign is equal to 2 over 3. And the cosine is adjacent side or over hypotenuse. So, our adjacent side is equal to square root of Five. So, adjacent side is square root of 5 all over hypotenuse is 3. So, our cosine is square root of 5 over 3. So, next, tangent. Opposite side all over adjacent side. So, our opposite side is equal to 2. And our adjacent side is equal to square root of 5. Cotangent. So, cotangent is the reciprocal uh, tangent is the reciprocal of cotangent. So, our our value of cotangent is square root of 5 over 2. Next, the cosecant. Cosecant is equal to hypotenuse all over opposite side. So, our hypotenuse value is equal to 3. And our opposite side is equal to 2. Next, second is equal to hypotenuse all over adjacent side. So, our hypotenuse side is equal to 3. And our adjacent side is equal to the square root of 5. So this is the 6 trigonometric function. The value of 6 trigonometric function. Okay, let's now proceed to our quiz. So bring out one for sheet of paper. And I will give you 2 minutes to answer this. So your time start now. Okay, finish or not finish? Pass your paper. 10, 9, 8, 7. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, I will check your paper and your score will be recorded. So, for your assignment, 
find the value of all six trigonometric functions of 60 degree. Okay. Do you have any question, class? Okay, na. That's all for today. Thank you and God bless.